Hey, Eon here, and welcome back to Building LibreFlip, an open source page journey book scanner. Today I will work on cutting and drilling most of the parts. The first step is to drill these two pieces. This is the base plate and this is the top plate. Both hold the vertical linear rails through these holes. So they need to line up perfectly and therefore I will drill them both together at the same time. These two are the side pieces of LibreFlip. I have glued on the plans on one piece, but not yet on the other. That's because these two pieces have a lot in common and they need to be precisely the same. So this cut out, this cut off, this cut out here and these two holes need to be exactly the same. So I will connect these two with screws and then process them together. The first step is to pre-drill these screws. I have marked where I need to end the cut, uh, over here, because that's where the saw blade enters the table. And I have marked this on here as well, so as soon as these two lines line up, I know that I need to stop and can't saw any further. I will finish the rest of the saw cut on the bandsaw. So let's do the remaining bandsaw cuts. So some of the cuts are made now, and I have also transferred now some of the marks on the back because I couldn't make these cuts because uh, right now. And I will now drill these two holes and afterwards make the last cut because then these two pieces will be separated and loose again. So now the last bandsaw cut. The upper side has no holes at all, it's just down here some holes that I need to drill and this cut out. So I can uh, leave out all this part here. The alignment is always hard but I think I've got it. Time for some glue. Today I'm going to work on the back plate of LibreFlip. This is the plan for the back plate, and this is the stock I'm going to be using for it. And there in the back, you can see the paper template for this part. I I'm unfortunately missing some lines in this area, so I have to draw them myself and I calculated some measurements for them over here, my pencil drawings. <laughs> okay, I've set up the table saw and let's cut this. So this is the cut back plate. I still need to remove a bit of material which I couldn't remove with the table saw. This leftover I will cut with this machine. This is the lower part of the book holder and it needs to have two slots that are 15 millimeter wide, a bit wider, 16 would be fine here and here and they both need to be offset 40 millimeter from here and there and they have a depth of uh, seven millimeters so but one can never be too sure 
whether the measurement I had in my mind was actually right. And it says uh, 7 and 16 right here. Let's do a test cut first. A bit too shallow. My table sawing is done. These are the grooves for the book holder that I just cut. They're 16 wide by 7 deep. Yes, 7. Some cleanup is needed. And now that the table saw is still set up, I also want to continue on this piece, which is the right, uh, right outer side, and I uh, want to make this cut as far as I can with this machine. Let's finish this cut over here. So this angle is 20 degrees, so I'm going to leave a little bit of uh, material and sand it to the line later on. Usually I would have done this cut with a bandsaw, but I'm waiting on the new blade because I dulled the old one. So let's leave some space here so I can sand to the line later on. Next step is lots and lots of uh, drilling. Thanks for watching! And if you just made your way into this series, thanks for checking this out. This is just one episode of a longer series where I show all the steps to make LibreFlip the Patreon ebook scanner. During this series I will publish all plans for you to download. I am grateful for the support of Wikimedia Germany. If you like to learn more about this project, please check out the project website, the link is in the description. If you can't wait for the next episode, please consider to subscribe to this channel and to follow this project on Twitter. Stay tuned and have a good day!